The first scene in Bloxford is probably the most important scene because this is where you learn how to actually play the game. And today, I'm going to be giving you guys a full guide on how to get past the first C. Pretty much everything you got to know, all the tips, the tricks, and you can even check the comments and there will probably be some more stuff. But before we begin, you guys subscribe and hit that bell. You have to, okay? If you want some good luck. Our like goal is going to be 200 likes, so like the video if you want to be the best player in Blox Roots. And because if this video does well, we're going to do part two and part three in the second and third C. But, but yeah, I almost forgot um, before we keep going. All my socials are linked down below and especially my instagram go uh, run up the followers on there i really appreciate it but yeah with that being said boys now let's begin so you will spawn here when you first begin the game not a big deal okay uh not much to say about this area there's a sword dealer but you don't really need to uh, worry about him right now there is also the block fruits dealer now don't worry about him specifically yet all right unless you buy your first perm fruit other than that you don't need to worry about him yet all you want to do is just come to this guy called the quest master and then you're just gonna want to take quests from him his quest is simple just kill the enemies and uh, now there's two different ones so just remember that uh these ones are high, level five these ones are level oh, yeah, they're both level five never mind okay so yeah they're both level five and i'm pretty sure if i'm not mistaken there's only one quest yeah and then whenever you want to go to a new quest or whenever this thing has like a red thing over it you want to click it and it'll tell you where to go now unless you've already bought the game pass don't worry about luxury boats yet you're really not gonna need to worry but i'm gonna use it and real quickly while we're driving i actually just want to talk about what the best fruit is right now to for this island so the best Best fruit for this island, I would say, is probably gonna be Light and Buddha. Light, I would also recommend more. This is like the only map where I'd recommend Light over Buddha, only because you have to like travel to like uh, where there's like one part where there's like a really high part of the map where you have to travel to. Uh, it's not that big of a deal, really, but like you know, so you cannot get the awakened Buddha, so your jumping is gonna suck pretty much. But yeah, we came to the middle island because there is something of significance here. Uh, not really that big. Uh, there is the weapons dealer, but it's only the fact that there is the block fruits dealer here as well just in case you had to know that but yeah with that being said now let's go to the next part of the map which i would say is significant wow you know i, I love the boats physics in this game but yeah guys let's go right here uh this is like the next part of the map that you're going to be going to as well but we're not going to come here uh just to show you anything there is some actually really cool stuff on this part of the map number one if you go this way there is going to be the block fruits gotcha every single c has this you guys you're gonna need this because it's gonna help you out getting fruits and what do i mean by that well here i'll, I'll show you right now every couple hours uh he will yeah two hours he will sell you a fruit the higher the level is the more it'll cost you so if you're a low level it's not gonna be that expensive so good for you for me it is expensive so we're gonna buy one right now just to see what we get and we got a diamond fruit so not too bad you do have a chance at getting some really good fruit so just keep that in mind you guys uh i would highly recommend you do this as soon as you can but we can't store this anymore so yeah that sucks oh wait wait no Wait, i'm gonna drop it i'll drop it here it's a private server i don't care something else here that's really cool as well there are some uh there are there is like a secret thing you can do here not secret necessarily we will search up the video uh there's like a special like thing you can do for the rengoku sword or it was saber saber it's a puzzle for saber just look up uh saber quest and you'll find it there's like a bunch of stuff you have to do They like this door will open and then the boss will be here to kill for the rengoku sword so yeah just look that up on youtube whenever you can it's a really fun quest i highly recommend you do it and yeah throughout the map there are going to be some other weapons dealers me personally i don't recommend you buy any weapons i think it's better to actually get like the saber or something uh or even um uh, if you want if you really want you can just buy the uh the dark blade it's really good as well i highly recommend it but unfortunately guys there really are not many things to do in the first c because of the fact that there's like literally nothing you can't do raids you can't you know you can't do the laboratory or anything there's just i think the first c is like just for beginners to kind of learn the game and the second and third c we will start talking about raids and how those work but the first for the most part just worry about leveling up and getting to the second c you don't have to worry about getting uh you know many cool things of course i was talking about the saber i do recommend you look up the video on there for how to get that you can also look up the video as well from for how to get the uh dark saber v2 which is really op by the way if i'm not mistaken i'm pretty sure it's at the uh, middle town somewhere yeah it's like one of the buildings here you, you have to go into yeah this one you have to like talk to like uh this guy yeah and there's the there's an aura editor in here as well oh wait you know what i just remembered there are actually some other things so we're actually gonna go to the snow area and the reason why is because you're actually gonna want to come to this ability teacher now to get over here uh, let me see where am i right now yeah you come to the snow area when you're here oh yeah and also this is gonna be important for the uh, quest as well for the saber so uh yeah you have to like, click the stuff in order so like you have to like look that up on youtube what the order is but yeah you're actually gonna want to come in here and talk to the ability teacher you're gonna need this guy so there's the jump air ability which pretty much allows you to jump up like this and there's the aura and the 
aura is actually this right here. Uh, it's this black thing that you get around your body. It's, it makes your attacks a lot stronger, so I recommend you get this as well. In fact, I recommend you get all the abilities from here. Because there's also the flash step as well. If you click Q. Oh, no, not Q. Oh, what, 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 what was the hockey? Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Um, yeah, it's R. It's R. Okay, yeah. So like, you just click R and then you can like teleport from here to there. It is so cool. Get all the abilities from here, guys. You're going to need them. And when you first get like, I think this is the only one where you uh, have to like level it up by like take it by giving people their damage like by attacking them pretty much i don't know why i said giving people damage same thing but still that was stupid but yeah and then as you keep leveling this up you're gonna unlock the full body which is when it's really op and then if you go back to the middle town here you can actually change the aura in c1 there you could do it in all c's but in c1 you just come to this guy and then you can uh you know change which one but yeah that's really cool but yeah this is gonna be like the main guy that you're gonna want to talk to Again, just look it up on YouTube because it is really confusing. I don't know when the heck when Locktoad played for uh, Paris. He is now. Uh, he's playing with Messi and, and uh, Neymar. <laughs> Bro, that's kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. But yeah, the first seed does have a lot of things to offer. As you guys can see, it's really not as much as, you know, the other seeds that we're going to go into. But again, it is the starter seed, you guys. I wouldn't really worry about your bounty or anything just yet at this point because, you know, you're just kind of starting. Again, I recommend you either use the light or, or Buddha. Both are good. Light is just like, see the cloud areas there. You're going to want to go up there pretty much. Uh, and it's kind of hard without light. So. And there's like one specific area actually that I want to talk about that's like really hard for new players to get to It was it took me a while to actually understand how to do this But when you're up here, you literally have to go uh, to that part there And it was actually really hard uh, to get up there like it took me so many tries I think not I think now I have no problem with it But like before it was like a problem Yeah, so life fruits can help you out with that because you won't have cursed dual katana You don't even get it till the third seed. So yeah, but with that being said you guys I want to end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching This is again part one out of three. So we're gonna be having more parts to this obviously the second and third seed is gonna be fun to take a look at because that's when you start getting into the good stuff but let me know if this video helped guys i'll catch y'all in the next one peace out boys bye bye